Okay, we can get the last upgrade. Is it like the last one? Maybe, I don't know. Our intel has located the TLF research station that's producing those new heavy starfighters. The station, okay. TLF research station that produces those new heavy starfighters is just ahead. Destroy it along with any TLF forces you encounter. Be aware Whoa. that the TLF have retrofitted the station big, with defensive weapon systems. A bit hard, okay. Destroy the TLF research station. Okay. It's a big one. Jesus. It looks like the TLF have fitted some kind of warp gate under that research station. We're reading some very high energy warp signals coming from that gate. Must have caught them in the middle of some kind of test. We've never seen stable warp signatures with that much energy before. What could they be up to? Whatever it is, you better take out that station before we find out the hard way. Sure.
station Yes, that was it. Our mine... intel has located the TLF research station that's producing those new heavy starfighters. Our intel has located the TLF research station that's producing those new heavy starfighters. So wait, uh, they told us... They seems they're operating out of a mobile research station which is currently in the A51 sector. If 
will be your task to take out that yeah. research station and eliminate any TLF forces you find there. Our sensors have picked up a variety of warp disturbances coming from this sector. So you should be prepared for anything. Can I? It seems the TLF I... are interested in more than just developing bigger starfighters. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, so wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait. 9, 12. Well, I heard there are 30 missions. Wait, so, so I guess that's it? <laughs> wait, is there something I, I didn't see? I don't think so. Whoa, the fuck? I didn't know I can travel through the station. Okay, that's good to know. What's there? Why it's only station? The fuck was that? check on the internet if there's something more but I think that will be it so uh, be right back <laughs> all right uh, so yeah it like uh, as I imagined uh, there's only 12 missions I've read 30 but I know where so maybe that's my fault uh, there's not not much after that it's just that you have 12 missions to play and that's it uh, you can replay it obviously, but it, the difficulty will be basically the same and you have your upgraded weapon so it will be even easier than before. So yeah. Um, you know, this game works. This game works specifically because uh, I know the backstory of the creating this game, like it was created by like to two people basically only uh, which are not even like were not uh, VR developers um, it was started to develop like three four years ago uh, so it's it was an amateur project that turned out to be a VR game which I can applaud because <laughs> uh, they specifically learned to develop games in VR and then like publish this game through GVR, Cardboard, or stuff like that. This game works because this game is like the first actual space game that you... Like, it's... If you are familiar with a classic arcade shooters, like from the 2000s, then that's clearly it. this one. Uh, it's not like new concept or whatever, but it feels uh, like an old school game, really. Uh, in a VR format, which is fine because we on the quest specifically we don't have uh, something like that, so it it will be successful uh, purely because of that and purely because uh, it it was not an AAA game, <laughs> uh, even though the finished product is uh, pretty good. Uh, I mean, if if we are talking about graphics. It is fine. It is actually fine, I think, especially for uh, uh, quest. Uh, especially if we are talking about, um, like you know, flying in space. Uh, there are no like visible, um, you know, like boundaries that you can't uh, go, uh, which is in which is nice because. Um, uh, knowing 
quest capabilities. Um, they they did a pretty good job at creating an illusion of being in space and like having an endless um, you know space to <laughs> fly around. Uh, so graphically, it is enough, at least for me. Um, it it feels really arcadish because especially that uh, the storyline is really missable. Like I did not really care that much about it because I for some reason the narrator is too quiet. So so I'm I'm focusing on being in the cockpit and like flying and not really listening to the narrator because I I can barely hear them because of the. Uh, sound effects that are happening around me and there is no um, like bar to raise volume of the narrator just for music I think it was uh, master voice and voice I'm not even sure but it was too quiet to be a story game but like you know, just playing for fun as an arcade, it is it is a good game, especially for the price, like 15 uh, euros for, I would say, like, on average, two hours of gameplay is fine. It, it is fine. It's fine at the end of the day. Yeah, it is fine. Uh, well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Um, what do we have new? Ah, what the hell is this? It was not here. Oh, another app. Fuck off. So many fucking apps. Not this one. This one is cool. <laughs> um, what are, uh, like, coming up games? I'm so, so waiting for Skyward and Elven Assassin. I think Skyward would be way better because we don't have a proper strategic game in a multiplayer format. Like, I love to play more multiplayer games. That's especially what is VR to me, playing with people. <laughs> Not like simulations, single players. I mean, it is kinda, but it, if we were talking about story, then of course single single player stuff. But like action should be like multiplayer stuff like that. It's a shame N Space is not put multiplayer, but I know that it will be way d more difficult to design a space game, um, especially with the resources that they had in multiplayer. So I don't blame them to put it. On single player, maybe in the future, but I don't. I don't think so. Uh, it is, yeah. It is basically the last day of my freedom. <laughs> um, the next days, month, months, I will be busy. So we will see how it goes. Um, there are some big releases in the September, so I think I would focus more on the n more like more fresh fresher <laughs> more recent uh, releases in September when if I would be uploading like recording and editing because I have some stuff uh, still I mean before <laughs> uh, I uh, will upload at end space so I think the uh, everything will finish in like late September and I assume because I didn't, I would not have much time in September to play. I will play like the the most recent releases. So I guess that's fine because I've already kind of did nearly whole um, library. So yeah, I guess to the next one. <laughs>